If you don't have anything nice or good to say, then you can fuck off. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Well, that's why it didn't work. Yeah, you're going on chill. What? What the hell? Ooh. Why him? What is she doing? Job is <laughs> no, but why is she opening her legs like that? Danica. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, this is fucking stupid. Oh. What is that issue? Cheek. Oh, maybe that was enough. Oh. Ooh. If you've been serious, I was. Because you've just been pathetic. No, right. it's not being pathetic. You asked no, me what was wrong, I'm telling you what's wrong, so don't come at me calling it pathetic. Don't ask if you don't want to know, Jax. Tomorrow night. Tonight there will be a recoupling in which the girls will choose which boys they want to couple up with. Oh, the girls. Hashtag girls on top. Hashtag big chick energy. You got the power tonight, Eki. It really stands on Eki tonight. I don't know. I just don't know. I can see all the power. I love it. I've been telling you guys, Jax is a walking red flag, but none of you guys wanted to listen. But now you can see it actually happening here. And the way he speaks to Paige, zero bad communication and bad comprehension. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again. It is daily and consistent content, consistent and persistent, baby. Inject it. This video is sponsored by Frontline Therapists. They are a mental health company that provide affordable and accessible mental health care for everybody, but especially black and brown individuals. Use my discount code. It's only for a limited time only. It is very useful. The website and all information is in the link below, sponsored by Frontline Therapist. Now, let's get straight into this video where, you know, we are seeing a lot of issues, cracks beginning to surface, especially between Jax and Paige. The heart rate challenge, I feel like, was one of the best heart rate challenges that I have seen in a very long time. Um, I think it's up there with season five. I think it was a very good season, um, challenge. Everybody was funny. They were laughing. There were jokes. There were weird moves. It was very risque and X-rated for 9 p.m., to be honest with you. I didn't expect it to be. Charlie just seemed to be very awkward and embarrassed. And, you know, it is what it is. Some people don't have the stage fright. And definitely he was one of them. The way they cut out Jay's entire scene, I'm not even mad, to be honest with you, because I feel like what I'm pretty sure it was boring because I doubt he would have done anything. Um, the heart rates for Jax and Gemma to be raised the most by each, each other was hilarious and probably bound to happen because they have that history. And of course, I did ruffle some feathers. Tasha being upset with Andrew, I feel like, you know, have a conversation if something bothers you. But once you've had that conversation now, move on. I feel like the girl is just dragging it and sobbing and mopping, for, mop, moping away for no reason. I think it's not that serious, but you really, maybe it is. You were wrapped up like a Barbie. You got carried out for what? for your man to not even pick you and you've been together for three weeks so you know maybe she does have a reason but I do think that you know she likes to drag and drag it on and I feel like it's just unnecessary to do so because she knows that Andrew will do whatever that she says Damien and India of course had a conversation India was irritated with Damien I feel like both of their hearts didn't raise each other for so I don't know why India is upset to be honest with you because Damien's heart wasn't raised the most by India so they're both kind of even with it but because of Damien's funny personality he just made a laugh and they kind of just moved on from it and it wasn't a big issue for them and that's what I'm you know glad to see Davide and Ekansu the way Ekansu opened up her legs I did not see that coming that was absolutely hilarious and then Davide biting Danika's butt and then Davide saying that he forgot to kiss her like he just all he does is violate his Danika and I feel for her and I'm glad that tomorrow the recoupling the girls get to choose so that she's going to be more safe and who's she going to pick Danika is she going to pick Andrew is she going to steal somebody who's Antigone going to pick you know who's going to pick Davide um you, like I'm excited Ekansu has the power and I'm not mad because Ekansu will come through. I feel like she's carried so much. When she spoke to Danika and said that, you know, you're a bombshell, but nothing's exploding. You need to do this. You need to do that. This is what makes her a stellar contestant because she helps to facilitate other people's drama and storylines and narratives, not just her own. She's a ghost producer. She's one of the best at it. The producers love her and they don't want to get rid of her because she's doing what she needs to do. So I'm not mad at it at all. Davide and Ekansu getting back together again, it's the winning formula. I see it, people see it, and I think that it could be one of the reasons why they could go to the finale together and 
keep them both in there and then one of them could actually potentially steal at the end because that would be entertainment for us definitely to see but I can see this happening in some kind of way and I do think that Ekansi will definitely pick Davide she won't pick Charlie because she was irritated with him and she definitely won't pick Jay and Jay deserves that this guy's a financial analyst he calculates everything you know with you know data and what he should do and what he, that's why he switched so quickly to Paige, thinking that it would have worked for him. It was actually the dumbest move that he made because if he was still with Jay, if he still was with Ekansu, he would have been in a very powerful position because Ekansu is the most dramatic character. So therefore, you should be with somebody who's the most dramatic because that keeps you in, because it keeps her in. That is a common sense that this man should have used, but he definitely didn't. And then two of his ex-girlfriends coming out to drag him also was the icing on the cake and something that he just simply did not need, did not need at all. All. But stellar cast, you know, the ratings are in and this season is being watched by more than 500,000 people than last season. The results speak for themselves. And I do think that, you know, this was a great episode. The narratives don't get dragged out for long. They get wrapped up quite quickly. And then we get more things coming in, in and in and in. So I think it's great to see. Of course, you know, Gemma and um, having intense conversation with Jax and they had their beef. So that was something that we saw today. It's like everyday drama with these guys. Jay, this is fucking stupid. Oh, what is that issue? Cheek. Oh, maybe that was enough. Every day there's something new. These this cast they don't rest. The last cast the producers were telling them off because they weren't doing anything. So this is what Love Island is about. Love Island is not about love. It's about the drama and then love closely afterwards. And I feel like this whole episode was what it needed to be it was entertainment the, the challenge was hilarious we got a little bit of drama at the, at the end and um, and at the beginning as well and then we got you know recoupling coming tomorrow this is what love island is about we are witnessing one of the best seasons it's definitely up there with season two and season five hundred and ten percent in that top category i definitely feel like it has it's cleared india was the best night challenge for me it's the fact that she didn't really entertain the other guys but when it came to damning she flipped herself onto him i just think that she cleared and i also think that Paige actually was pretty good at what she was doing Doing. I think Danica was great being a dancer. I feel like the girls did better than the boys. I feel like the boys like Jay and Charlie could have done a lot more and Luca they weren't really afraid. Davide was really the only one who did the most with this whole outfit looking like Zorro. So I feel like you know sometimes the boys need to be a bit more but definitely a very entertaining challenge. It brings me flashbacks of Curtis when he was doing that challenge and if I was there when Curtis was just walking out like that my heart would have raced the most strictly out of fear because I would have been absolutely scared for my life if I saw someone like that walking towards me dressed like that anyways let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this video subscribe to the channel click that button guys it is daily and consistent content subscribe 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 click that button let's get to 285,000 subscribers head over to my tiktok for my shorter love island reviews over there as well sponsored by frontline therapist everything is in the bio head over to my instagram at marad underscore morali and i will also be going live tonight as well i haven't in a while but i'm back in london back to scheduling so that roughly will be happening just before 12 11 45 or so i'll be going live for like half an hour 40 minutes just to chat to you guys if any of you guys are up i know it's a school night and i know that you just watched love island but if anybody is up i will be just chatting and discussing for a little bit with you guys um if i have the energy to do so but anyway subscribe to the channel click that button it is daily and consistent content and i will catch you guys soon for another video